marine anti-cancer drugs. Exploration of marine natural products revealed the great potential as anti-cancer drugs. Considering the marine drugs available on the market, it's interesting to see that four of them are used in cancer therapies. It's Cytostar, Cytarabine, Trabectadine, Yondelis, Halaven and Atsetris. Also, the majority of the compounds that are in marine pharmaceutical pipeline is for application in cancer therapy. They are produced by cyanobacteria, by fungi, tunicate and bacteria. Many of them affect the tubulin as cellular target. In this lecture, I will present the problems that can be encountered in the process of anti-cancer drug development from natural products. For this purpose, I will use Atsetris as an example. In the early 1970s, Petit and co-workers discovered the extremely potent anti-proliferative activity of extract from Sihar from Indian Ocean, Dolabella auricularia. The extract was active against several tumor cell lines. Unfortunately, this shellless mollusk produced banishingly small amounts of bioactive compounds, so it took 15 years to collect enough material for structural analysis of active agents. In Dolabella auricularia, several dolastatin variants were identified, including dolastatin 10. From one ton of the mollusks, only 29 mg of dolastatin 10 was isolated. Dolastatin 10 is a linear depsipeptide compound composed of valine and four other unique residues. When the structure of dolastatin was finally elucidated, its high similarity to cyanobacterial metabolites was observed. Later, it was discovered that the real producer of dolastatin 10 are cyanobacteria classified at that time as Simploca and Lingvia which are components of the Labella diet. Dolastatin 10 inhibits polymerization of tubulin dimers to microtubules. Microtubules are cytoskeletal protein polymers essential for cell division and differentiation. Inhibition of tubulin polymerization results in tumor cell cycle arrest and cell apoptosis. The compound is active against a panel of tumor cells at low nanomolar to picomolar range. As the structure of dolastatin 10 is relatively simple, several methods of its chemical synthesis were elaborated. Different structural variants of the compound were synthesized and structure activity relationship was determined. When the supply of the compound was ensured, the process of drug development could start. In preclinical studies, dolastatin 10 demonstrated potent activity against a panel of tumor cells, for example, lymphomas leukemia, both in vitro and in vivo. 1990, dolastatin 10 entered phase one of clinical trials and progressed to phase two. Unfortunately, because of side effects observed in 40% of patients and low efficacy, dolastatin 10 dropped from clinical trials. The activities of dolastatin 10 synthetic derivatives were also tested, but neither of the compounds progressed beyond phase two in clinical trials. USA-based company Seattle Genetics made attempts to couple one of the dolastatin analogues, a monomethyl auristatin E, 
to monoclonal antibody which selectively targets CD30 protein expressed by Hodgkin's lymphoma cells. Seattle Genetics produced an antibody drug conjugate, ADC, Brentuximab vedotin, which is composed of the antibody, a catepsin B cleavable linker, and monometal auristatin E. The antibody drug conjugate, Brentuximab vedotin, is stable in extracellular fluids and relatively non toxic. The drug, after binding to the cell surface CD30 antigen, is internalized and within the cell, the enzyme catepsin releases the cytotoxic agent from the complex. Then, auristatin inhibits tubulin assembly, which results in mitotic arrest and cancer cell apoptosis. Taking advantage of this technology, an anti-cancer drug with commercial name Acetris has been developed. The drug was approved by American and European agencies for treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma and systematic anaplastic large cell lymphoma. The whole process from the discovery of strong anti-cancer activity in Dolabella auricularia extract to drug approval took over 40 years. In recent studies, the activity of two synthetic dolastatin analogues, monomethylauristatin E and F, was compared. It was found that the presence of phenylalanine in C-terminal position increases the cytotoxicity of the F variant 1000 times. Monomethylauristatin has also been conjugated with other antibodies directed to membrane proteins on other cancer cells and the new ADCs are currently undergoing clinical trials. It is worth to notice that there are 25 marine-derived compounds in clinical trials. Of these, 22 are potential anti-cancer drugs and 16 are based on monomethyl auristatin derivatives and are tested as ADCs.